there's no shot that you're actually. Oh, wait. Belveth ban against Kanavi. I think this is the first Belveth ban we've got in LPL. They've only played three series, I believe, on this patch, but yeah, Belveth ban. So it's just going to be Renata takeaway. That's the whole point of this. He's going to go Renata 100%. Because people think Renata Aphilios is a really good lane, and then people think that Kalista Renata is also a really good lane. So. They'll pick Callista uh, into Aphelios to get the Renata, and they'll try to force a Lulu here, and that's the Lulu. Oh my god. It's the tech. I mean, a lot of LPL teams have similar conclusions, so it's pretty easy to draw, like, how teams think. I'm just, I'm not really sure about this team comp, right? Because, like, Orin, normally you want to pair that with scaling. You want to pair, pair like, an Orin with something like a, a ranged hyper carry AD. So one of the big comps before used to be Orin plus Jinx. It used to feel like, oh, you have Orin and Jinx on your team? You've automatically won the game. That's how it is. Orin with, like, Callista Talia seems really strange to me because it's like, you kind of want to scale with Orin, but then at the same time, you don't have much that you're scaling for. Her. So you, I guess you're just team fighting. Front to back, you have pretty good AoE ulties and team fights. I think LNG's comp's a little all over the place. You don't want a W to clear a ward over using your E and your Q. The only reason he's... Oh, wait, hold on. No flash on hope. Can they do anything here? Oh, missed W. Okay, the drag. Do they kill him? No, they don't. They use multiple flashes and they don't kill him. Well, not multiple flashes. They use one flash and they still don't kill him. And ignite. He's got uh, no flash. All right, they got him. They finally killed this Aphilios, but like they've expended so many resources to kill him. Multiple flashes. Like they've expended what? Two flashes now. Three flashes. Callista uh, ult. They burned Talia ult. Talia's timing as well. It was pretty rough, man. Doesn't LNG just hard outscale? No, I don't think so. I don't think you're outscaling Azir. Hey, uh, the they can't do anything else. That's it. That's it. We're going. We're going Drake here now. Oh, they actually cancel. Oh, okay, never mind. You got it. Oh my God, Doonby missed his uh his W, but it's looking good anyway. Light is onto the Strani. Okay. Just winning at this point. Imagine if this was third Drake, though. Imagine if they just didn't waste their ulties and they were able to contest third Drake. Dude, I don't think I've seen Doonby land a W this entire game. This has been so tough. And they need to just relax here. Doonby does no damage yet. Yeah, Doonby's missing every W this entire game. His Talia looks really sus. I mean, I definitely think that there's a difference. Okay, let's let's see the fight. Let's see the fight. LNG looks like they're just going to get third Drake here. I mean, they have to choose a side. LNG has to choose a place to engage. All he flashes out. That's good. I mean, they should just probably run at this point. It's not looking like a good fight. Oh, okay. Never mind. They go all into the Sidrani. It's a really good Renata ult. Oh my god, the Renata ult through that choke is huge. It just prevented the follow-up completely. And then Doonby ends up uh, killing the, the Lulu over the wall. Damn, this actually was pretty well fought. So this was actually really nice. They all turned and committed onto the Sidrani, which looked bad. But because Renata was able to ulti that entire choke, the entire ramp, it meant that there was no one that could actually protect the Sidrani there. And they ended up winning the fight. Yeah, but I mean, so look, when they decide to all go on to Sidrani, look at the ulti that Iwandi gets here. Look at the ulti he gets. Like, it just means that JG can't follow up at all, and they're just able to essentially free kill him. And they just go on to Hope. Hope just dies with the uh, Callista ult. I mean, they definitely use Callista a lot better in this region. Uh, missing is just dead. Got the handshake, too. Doonby has no flash, though. Is he just dead? Oh, they actually save him. Man, they're actually kind of playing like a team here. This is, uh, this is way different than what we normally expect. LNG are just stronger right now. Ooh, this is actually really good engage. Tarzan's on the flank. They're on to Hope. Does Hope just die here? Hope has no flash. They just kill him instantly. Kanavi's dead as well. Damn, this LNG comp ended up working out pretty well. Nice. I guess their team fighting was just too fing OP with this. I thought this was going to be like more of an issue, but like the scaling on the red side team comp doesn't seem to really match the straight up team fighting ability of LNG. Yeah, that flash R was not good. I mean, you just play for any fight here. Tarzan's got a mega flank. 
Spades call to try and start Did he actually the want to go on Azir there, or was it better to just E ulti onto Missing? I guess it's fine either way. I mean, you just get the engage, you win the fight no matter what. And through top, all right. Pretty big win for LNG. This is probably the best win they've had all split. We allowed to have hope for LNG taking a world spot. If they win this series, you can have a little bit of hope, but you got to see more consistency. I mean, to be honest here, I feel like they're covering a lot of their problems that they had by just drafting team fight, you know? It's like, it's essentially a slightly more complicated version of just a press R comp. It's not the, the, the Vi Galio, you know, the... <laughs> The, the bronze Zodiac comp, exactly, but it's that, that same so idea where looked. you have issues doing a lot of things and coordinating multiple parts of your team at the same time. So what are we doing? We're all picking team fight. Everyone's gonna lane, you're gonna show up to Drake's, and then you're gonna five man. Dude, I haven't seen Tarzan smile in a while, to be honest. Then you're gonna you're gonna show up to Drake's and you're gonna all cast your fing ulties. Alright? I mean it, I assume that it's just gonna be Wukong Wukong again. Now the question is, do they still go Callista when there's no Renata in the game? It's definitely a Wukong angle here. Especially when you're playing two like a mobile AD carries in Aphilios and Jinx. Wukong is really good value already. Nope, that's not it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I hate that. First Belveth in LPL. I'd be down. All right, so I'm expecting Lissandra on three for Doonby. It should probably always be Lissandra here. Lissandra Poppy, not the strongest mid jungle, but I think you definitely go Lissandra into the RE. You got to go Lissandra here, man. Really? This is just, I think this is just bad drafting. You just need to let them have a free RE pick. I mean, I guess Doonby will also play Silas into it, but yeah, I mean, I'm expecting Lissandra Silas bans here. Wow, Lissandra is just up. They banned Silas Talia instead of Lissandra. So last pick, last pick is for... I want to hear. I just wonder what he's going to take. I mean, he could take something like Rakan technically. I don't think Braum is like that OP here. I think it's going to be Rakan or Leona. I, I mean, I think so. Braum is good into Nautilus. I don't know if it's great into the rest, though. I think that there was just some really suboptimal drafting here. I think the Lissandra should have been banned 4 or 5 here. I think Wukong should have been higher. Essentially, they picked Poppy blind before any dashes came in, which makes no sense to me. Yeah, Lissandra should have been picked on 3, most likely. I think the Braum, like, can work. I don't think it's great into Belveth or great into, like, Ari, for example. But it can work, I guess. It's not good into Scion, really, either. What do you think about Stridebreaker Belveth? I don't know anything about Stridebreaker Belveth. I guess that's what we're getting here well actually no we're still gonna get kraken slayer right i think kraken slayer would be the move here triple tanks i feel like if you go stride breaker in this game you're just gonna do zero damage as Belveth. can they dive dune is moving first but Yagao's moving behind him yeah this is uh this is a dead nautilus you just gotta run hope oh hope got tagged they double flashed on him they know oh my god i mean missing might end up living but yeah, I mean, it's worth. Doonby has to move to it, but it, it should be fine. I mean, if anything, Doonby getting the kill would be better for the team. Okay, they, they tagged. Actually, yeah, no, they, he's dead. Give it to Doonby. I didn't even realize that Doonby had Aerie, actually. Interesting. And Kanavi actually gets... This actually might be good for a JDG overall. Like, having your bot lane die, but getting Rift Herald, I think might be solid. Also, Kanavi just griefed it there. Kanavi just... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's just a horror. You can't miss that W, bro. You cannot miss it. It's so doomed now. Man. JDG tried to make the play, but they weren't quite able to execute. And now Allo just needs to land one more auto, and he'll be able to CC him. Oh, there it is. <laughs> in, Ring of Frost. One more auto attack. No! <laughs> okay, oh they got God, him. It's just nice from LNG. Uh, this would have been so big if he hit that. If he hits that, they just one-shot Ollie and he gets another Void Coral. Because Ollie wouldn't be able to run under a turret. And then Kanavi ends up taking aggro. Oh my god, it's a horror. Okay. Got the TP in. Sion's in a really good spot. I mean, this is looking really good for JDG. I think they win this. Get a free reset for Kanavi. They just had really good position here. Oh man, they're going to get third Drake too. Okay, Yagao goes over. He doesn't land the charm onto Tarzan. Tarzan gets one back, but he's dead for it. Okay, chasing all the way through. That's uh, that's Drake number three. Okay, JDG's looking in a pretty good spot. It looks like we're going for uh, going to three games here. I mean, it was just really bad positioning for LNG. They were super overextended. No one could actually follow up and 
Yeah, JDG got the, the TB behind. I mean, it's just a great position overall for JDG. Like, they should just run here, but they get, like, the Nautilus soul. Like, Aphelios is completely safe, and he's just hitting. Kanavi can just do the same thing as well. Got a free reset at the beginning. All he's on a flank into the back line, so Goonby and Light can't even walk forward. You got everything you want here. Big star. I mean, it's going to be a while for Light to be able to carry this. Hey, they're onto Missing. Missing should just die here for free. He's way too far up. Can Tarzan do something here? Doesn't look like it. Kanavi has no way to get over that wall, by the way. He has to just walk up. Tarzan's just dead. Tarzan's just dead. It's over. 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 GG. Pretty desperate from from uh, LNG, to be honest. Really desperate, but yeah, it, lo it looked like it was going to be fine for JDG the whole time. They can just walk inside and can just face tank. Great game one, for sure. No one's denying that, but it's these decisions that come in, and now they're in a little bit of a cut. Right, it's another great flank from 369. It's free as You got just flashed onto light and got him. He's dead, too. You're trying to get this one working for Doonby. He's going to try and get himself out of this, but... The CC is there. <laughs> I like Kanavi not even like auto like not like, even like, like, moving forward. He just sits there just auto attacking. Okay, bro, he's got the auto range. Who cares? It's actually an infinity edge. So there's no one I don't believe there's anyone on the side of LNG who can kill 369. Even if you get a perfect engage, you can see Kanavi and Tarzan having a little bit of a 1v1. They do clear the wave though, and Tarzan just taking so much damage. 369 goes in between them there as Tarzan has to use the heroic charge to try uh, I mean hope is just dead. This is like pretty in, bro. Oh my god. What are they doing? I don't know. Like, Hope is just literally having to walk through the turret to get to this engage. It's like so grief. I mean, nothing actually matters here. Like, they still win the game, like, pretty easily. The Belveth build. It feels like you don't actually do much damage with this. Like, without Kraken Slayer, it feels like you just can't actually be a threat. But, I mean, this game, he's so far ahead that it doesn't matter what he builds. But I think most games, you just feel really useless with this build. Okay. I mean, when his team is able to do this for him, though, he's chilling. Triple kill coming in for Kanavi, and that's going to be a huge win for JDG. JDG. What happened when I left LNG? We're so ahead. They had one really bad fight near Raptors, and then they just like could not get back into the game. It's just doomed. All right. Are we getting a Mumu here? Nope. It's just Nautilus. All right. So the Nautilus here instead of a Mumu, that makes me think it's because Nautilus is good into Kalista, so they're trying to take it away. Let's see what the uh, jungle pick is. I mean, I, I, like, you could go Wukong here. It's not the best for LNG, though. Yeah, I mean, the Poppy takeaway. I mean, it was good for Tarzan in the early game. After that, it seemed to fall off pretty hard. What else did you play, though? Let's say let's say you didn't go for... Um, you don't want a dash champion, so you don't want Lee Sin. I guess you don't really want Zin. You could go Zin. Zin doesn't get as hard as, like, Jarvan does. You don't want Lee Sin. You don't want Wukong. You don't want... Jarvan, what would what would you go then if you're Tarzan? You could honestly go Hecarim. Hecarim would actually not be terrible here, but no one plays that anymore. Everyone just gave up on the champion. They forgot it existed. That's fine, I guess. That's fine. Like, as long as it's not full AP, that's fine. If you go Lilia or, like, Karthus or something, I think you're kind of griefing. Especially because, like, Lilia doesn't have any synergy with Corky at all, and you're going to generally be getting mid-pushed early. Like Corgi's not going to be able to push out mid until 6. So you're not even going to be able to actually do Lilia things. Pretty decent draft. Pretty close draft, I should say. Going to come down to play pretty heavily. There's enough engage on JDG's side to play into Corgi at least. I think it's just going to come down to play. I don't think one team like massively outdrafted where they automatically win the game. Okay. I mean, Tarzan actually invested a decent amount for this though because his top camps have been up for like 2 minutes now. And he just spent this time doing Raptors and then waiting for his uh Callista to the base i mean it's pretty pretty heavy investment i mean with Callista, you definitely want to play around drakes but that's pretty tough and is tarzan gonna give this blue i think he has to man this this type of jungling feels so bad to do it's one of those games where like as a jungler you're like all right guys it's out of my hands good luck i did my best i got the drake i gave the blue buff I, this is really rough maybe you can get six off the pink ward can he get six off this pink ward 
Uh, Trying to get the flash. Oh my god, he flashed it. He just killed himself. Yeah, dude, he, he, look, he deserves this, bro. He deserves to, to just run it down. Having to give your blue buff and do dragon, like, you're supposed to just run it down at this point. Just jungle mindset. Yeah, they probably lose the game off this. Maybe not literally lose the game, but it's not good. I think LNG can make worlds. I mean, they're they're definitely not looking like that's a reality, but I mean, I guess they technically can make worlds, sure. They're trying to burn uh, Missing Zolt here. Missing has no flash. Maybe they can just kill him, to be honest. All right. They just killed him through the ult. Oh my God, Doonby, what are you doing? Oh my God, Doonby, you just you just walked in and just ran it for no reason. Oh, and then we're wasting ult on the Ari that has two ult charges. Even if that lands, what is that gonna do? And they lose top turret. Oh, this this fucking sequence for LNG is so painful, man. And you lose your flash also right before Drake. And he had um, blue buff. Oh, it's so grief, man. Doonby, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Top turret going down as well. The bot lane not exactly healthy either. So they might look trying to maybe engage onto this one here. Now without the glacial path, you're going to, or the glacial. Uh, okay, Wandy really just has to burn Callisto and they have to burn Flash. This sucks well. so badly, by the way. The so at this point, I think LNG just have to give yeah, up third Drake. They've lost so much. They're down 4K gold. They're not going to even have package and they lost a bunch of flashes. Like, yeah, uh, you can't, you can't contest this. And Yago just have to dodge away, but we're back in. And Doonby's dead again. And Iwandi is probably dead as well. Yep, he's dead as well. Oh, it's just f***ing over. I mean, maybe just wait for them to push up an int and then you try to do something with Corky package. I guess that's it. Oh, Corky already packaged. All right, they're just all inning. Oh, he missed the W. Oh, it's so painful. They double flash. Oh, wait, no. They just single flash to that. Okay, Doonby's 100% dead, by the way. Oh, Tarzan with the kill. It's definitely worth, guys. It's worth. It's worth. LNG in pure desperation mode, and they're losing it across the map. Yep, gonna be able to pick up the kill. Nice, nice. Nine thousand health now on top of this Baron. Quirky's TPing. He's here. The orange try to come in. Missing gets hooked up and goes straight into his ultimate stage. They're gonna use a fate call to try and disengage. Hey. A little bit of fish in barrel right now. Honestly, it's not that bad for LNG. This might be a winnable fight for LNG. Like, you definitely don't get the objective, but I think you might be able to fight right now. I mean, Ollie needs to just go forward, bro. Bro, come on. Wait, why is Ollie so scared there? He's actually full HP as a tank. Doonby's there. Light can auto attack. Has flash. There's no mana on Aphilios. And, like, almost no mana on Ari. I feel like he could definitely walk forward there. I don't know. That was really weird. They hit the hook on the hope. There it is. They got the package. They're gonna win. Actually, I mean, they can. They can win this. Low key, light can smurf this. Light can carry this. They can get Drake off this. They get Drake here. It's pretty big. Doonby has GA, so they can definitely do this. Just walk together, brothers. Oh, doing me. He goes into GA, so he will be coming back up in a second. They're going to try and take down the Tarzan so they don't have them. Oh, man. They got double knocked up. You can't have play like that, man. Oh, uh, doonby has been so bad this game. I mean, they had to go for Drake there. They could have got it, too, if they played better. They just played it terribly. Like, they just gave GA for free. They got double knocked up by the Orin. Man, like, it's so... Oh, man, this just makes me hate TN even more. He ruined Doonby's, like, insane 2021 season. It's fucking TN's fault. Doonby runs it down. I'll find a way to flame TN for it. TN was the real superstar of FPX. Shut your fucking mouth. How dare you say that? Bro, you should be, like, smited by God for saying such a blasphemous thing. What the f***? Bro, why do I have to watch Doonby just play like shit? It's so hard, man. It's so tough. He was so good in 2020 as well. Like 2020, dude, B should have been at Worlds. His team just f***ing ran him down. In 2021, he gets the Worlds and Tian just runs him down at Worlds. And then now he just f***ing sucks. Uh, it was a good game one from LNG and then they just became LNG again. Is what it is, boys. Is what it is. Man, it sucks.